Hello, and welcome to the online course Quantitative Finance with R. Thank you all for joining PACT and pursuing your interest in quantitative finance. In this session, I'll give you an overview of the course, including a comprehensive breakdown of the course sections and what you can be expected to learn. This course is created by myself, Omar Bazara, and my good friend Marco Nefeli. I'll first start with some introductions. I'm currently an analyst within the Portfolio Evaluations team at IHS Market. We are a data and information provider with quite a big footprint in the financial market for both data and valuations. I have a strong understanding across all asset classes within derivative pricing. I also have a master's in financial mathematics from CAS Business School. And one key objective is of this course will be so you guys can see and focus on the most important things within the quantitative finance space without having to do an actual master's. Marco Nefeli has a very technical background. Unlike myself, he actually has a PhD and is in his final year. His main area of research is financial econometrics. He has written a number of papers that cover topics that we presented in this course, as well as lecturing something very similar at the University of Pavia in Italy. He also has a master's in quantitative finance from CAS Business School, and this is actually where we met and became good friends. Okay, so now I'm going to touch on the course overview. Um, so we'll move to the next slide. This course will actually bring to light some of your interest in mathematical techniques, giving the right direction to apply within financial models on your own. By the end of the course, you can definitely expect significant improvements in your ability of understanding the major quantitative methodologies used across finance. This course will actually feature issues and tasks faced by a lot of financial institutions, such as banks, hedge funds, and whatnot. The course is constructed in such a way that will actually target the main mathematical models first. We'll basically write these down and then we'll conclude with some practical examples in R. Uh, although this course focuses on mathematical and practical benefits, it also go over the caveats of all the models. You'll see both the positives and negatives of typical models in the financial space. It is clear that both the mathematical and program elements are equally important when venturing into the quantitative finance realm. We'll make sure that we explore both sides through main packages and functions listed on the crown repositories. This is actually very useful within this program as it will give the ability to perform more efficiently when working with quantitative financial analysis across all the financial products. Now we'll go over how you will learn. Our learning methods guarantees that you will walk away with a really good edge within this industry. This is given by mixing the knowledge in quantitative finance with the programming of R. First, as I said, we'll start with a theoretical kind of attitude, looking at quantitative finance definitions across all our topics, and then we'll move on to the practical context and how it's used. Secondly, we will transpose all this information into R by the use of CRAM packages and R code. This will give you a much deeper understanding of the topic itself. Finally, what we'll do is we'll mix these two elements, the technical part and the programming part, allowing you to challenge yourself in real life case studies that must be resolved and solved using solutions in R. Next, I'm going to guide you through the sections of the course. We have seven in total, each collectively covering all core aspects of the quantitative finance area. The first section is very introductory and paves the way for the rest of the course. Analytics is a foundation for the financial realm and will be discussed. In section two, we'll go through everything that's used in the course. Section three and four will drive the derivative space. Section three is more about fixed income securities and pricing with the yield curve analysis. Or section four is more about pricing options. Derivative options are very widely used and that's why we're leaving a separate section for this. Section 5 targets the quantitative aspects of portfolio optimization as marked for its portfolio section. Or section 6 is about the famous CAPM model and factor models used in general. Finally section 7 includes the course going into details of risk management and uh, portfolio theory, specifically the value at risk model. I also want to go over some prerequisites. Earlier basic understanding of financial markets will be needed, although we do expect a quantitative background, so 
you'll need knowledge of mathematics and statistics. Um, likewise, with R, only a basic understanding and experience is required. Thank you again, and I hope to look forward to seeing you in the next slide.